if you have a Nissan vehicle that you're having headlight, uh, tail light, if you have any lighting issues, including your fog lights, your cooling fan issues, uh, AC issues, specifically the, the uh, compressor not coming on, not being able to engage, uh, windshield wipers or horn, and if your Nissan has an IPDM, Intelligent Power Module, which is this little box right here, take it out, um, there's a quick and easy test that you can do to test this box. Now, this box is replaceable, and it's not hard to do. There's just a bunch of plugs on it. You just unplug it and plug another one in, then snap it, snap it down. They're not too expensive if you do have one that's bad. You can actually get them used from salvage yards for as cheap as 30, 35 bucks. Uh, I think new, they're about 250, depending on the vehicle and the year. But there's a quick and easy way that you can do a self-test on that box. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now this just happens to be a 2014 Nissan Altima. Uh, but there's all kinds of different Nissan vehicles that this, this same test works on all of them. Uh, as far as I know, it, it's, it is the same procedure to, to get the test to initiate. And what you do, you turn the key on. Now, this has got the intelligent key, so, so it's just got a fob. As long as you have the fob on you to uh, turn the key on without starting it, don't have your foot on the brake. Push the button twice. Your instrument panel should light up to let you know that basically the key is on. And then you're going to push your door switch ten times. Then you're going to turn the key off. You're going to turn the key back on. Two pushes. The horn's going to honk. The wipers are going to wipe. So we just made sure that the IPDM can control the horn. We heard it honk. It can control the wipers. The fog lights are going to come on for five seconds. Then the headlights are going to come on. The inboard headlights are going to flash five times. Your tail lights will also be on. So you can check all your brake lights and tail lights. The compressor clutch will engage five times. And then the fans will come on. And they start off on low and then they go to high. And then and then it starts all over again. So you see the wipers are going again. And what you've essentially done is you've made sure and to, to stop the procedure you just hit the start button. Or if you have a key, turn the key off. And what you've done is you've made sure so whenever you initiate this test, what you're doing is you're telling the ECM to tell the IPDM to engage this stuff. So right now we know that the, the ECM told the IPDM to engage. The IPDM engaged all the stuff. So all the relays, the fuses, the power to the IPDM is good. Without a doubt, we know that right now. Um, so that's just a quick and easy way to, to do a test of the IPDM to uh, make sure that it is good. And like I said, I don't know the first year that they had IPDMs, but if your car has an IPDM and you're suspecting it could be bad, that's a quick and easy self-test that Nissan has built into the car to, uh, to allow you to be able to do that and check that. It also helps you troubleshoot. Uh, you can actually take this out, use a test light, you can back probe these connectors to make sure that, you know, if you do hear the... the uh, relay clicking for the compressor uh, you can use a test light to make sure that that it is outputting power to the to the compressor and if the compressor is still not coming on it can either be the clutch it could be a wiring issues issue from the IPDM to the compressor same with the cooling fans same with the lights but I just want to show how easy that test is to do so you can do a self-test of the IPDM 
and these do not have to be programmed. If you was to buy one of these used or even new, you just unsnap it, unplug all the connectors, plug the new one in, snap it back down, you're good to go. No programming necessary. Just make sure you get the right part number. There are different ones depending on year, make, and model. So I just wanted to show that real quick just in case you're, you have a Nissan, you're having some issues. Again, with either horn, wipers, exterior lights, AC compressor, or cooling fan. Now, it doesn't control the blower inside. Uh, so, you know, be aware of that. There's only certain things that it does control. So, uh, I, I know for a fact, at least on this vehicle, wipers, horn, exterior lights, cooling fans, and the uh, AC compressor. So, anyway, just real quick, again, just to recap on the procedure, you're going to turn the key on, push the door switch ten times, key off, and key back on. That simple. Should hear the horn honk. The horn honking is the very first thing that tells you that, it, that you've achieved the cycle. And then the wipers will start, and then your lights, and uh, all that. So, anyway, that's all I've got. You guys take care.